G'day and welcome back to Space Engineers Dick Expansion. I finished off the uh, the new mining ship and I've tested it out and I've uh, dismantled the old one. Um, I've just got it docked up at the moment. Let's um, turn the lights on for one. Actually, we'll put the lights on this as well. I've I've named it the Gooch. <laughs> I hope you guys are okay with that. All right, there she is in all her glory. Gooch is intact. It uh, didn't change. I just added some lights and just uh, some decorations. Changed the uh, color scheme a little bit. Um, one thing I completely forgot in my build is a cockpit. <laughs> so, um, I had to rework a couple of things and this is where the cockpit is. It's just sitting up in there. So yeah, that's, um, that's pretty cool. And, um, there was still a little bit of space on the inside. So I thought I would put some doors in here. And I've just got the projector sitting in there, and yeah, so we've got these channels down here. Oh, there's an oxygen tank there as well, which I forgot to put in. So that is the gooch. Now, uh, when I was doing my calculations for the weight, and the thrust needed, I made a very big mistake, um, crucial. It, it's one of those times, you know, like you see the photo of um, the engineers building the bridge and they're going from either end and they're going to meet in the middle and then it doesn't line up. It was one of those moments where it was a big fuck up. So what was, what happened is I was calculating the weight that the drills could carry and I was reading it as uh, a total of 1.6 million, but because there were so many numbers, I didn't realize it was actually 16 million. So we went from having more than enough thrust to having about 50% of the thrust we needed just to counteract gravity. But, um,. I did a little bit of a test and it seems to handle the weight fine. Um, I plunged uh, just the tip in the lake down there, picked up a full uh, cargo load, plus some of the drills uh, filled up as well. Um, and yeah, it, it handled the weight fine. So I'm not sure, maybe the something to do with the inventory settings. Uh, changes the calculation, I'm not sure. But uh, I'll take you down to the lake and I'll show you what it did. So this is four four prints of the, uh, the old um, the old drilling machine. So I, I put, I just, I faced it down <laughs> in each corner there. This is just a single plunge of the, the new uh, mining ship, the Gooch. And yeah, that, that brought back uh, about 4 million ice, just plunging it in like that. It was epic. Um, all right, so I know uh, I said we were going to test and take it to space, but um, there's, there's two there's two problems with that. Number one, we don't have any fucking space. We um, we are completely loaded up. Um, if we search for ingots. Um, we've only got two cargo containers and they're chockers. They're, they're full, totally full. We search for ore. Um, 
Actually, a better way to do it is to look in the LCO. That is a large cargo container, completely chockers. And then if we have a look at the Gooch, it still has a million ice on it. So we've got no, no space for all. Um, the other issue is our power situation is critical and that was that was my mistake because I added all those refineries plus I was recharging the batteries on the gooch and I had all the O2 generators running as well the H2 O2 generators so we completely drained all our batteries um, so I've since turned off four of the refineries. We've only got two running. Um, we, we've got heaps of resources though. Like everything's loaded up. And we've got plenty of ingots. So. Um, Alright, so that's um, that's our dilemma. We, we have a power issue. And there's... I don't know, because I want to move. I want to move base to the other side of the planet. So do I... Do I stay here for a little bit longer and we just build this up a little bit? Build this base up a little bit until we're... Um, well and truly ready to move? Or should we just bite the bullet and um, attempt to build some sort of a large grid rover to take us over there or should we do it with a rover should we do it with a spaceship because it if we drive over there that's going to take me hours to drive over there i don't, really don't want to do that it's just going to irritate me i'm leaning towards staying here for a little bit longer it just like all it really means is the series will go for a little bit longer. And I don't mind that. I think like I'm I'm enjoying this. So if we if we build this up a little bit, build up the base, um, have a proper storage area for all the ores that we need, we could even leave this base here. Um, and then we'd have a second home to um, like if we needed to come over here for something. Uh, I'm not sure why we would want to come over here, but just in case, um, at least we'll have a base here to come back to. So if that's the case, um, the first, first thing we should work towards is more power. Now we can't, we can't build the new solar panels can we um where's the best way to check that would it be in here um the black solar cells they need platinum and the gold need platinum as well maybe we should just build a uh, a solar tower and be done with it i think All right, let's get a little bit of a aerial shot of the location we've got to work with here. What if we built the tower on this peak over here? Are we too far away from Bob? Yeah, we are too far away from Bob. That's all right. That looks pretty good. Alright, so then we just need uh, a rotor. Okay, now we need uh, some sort of a conduit over here. Should we go underground? Actually, we should... Um Possibly lay some GPS markers.
Um, so I I press uh, B to uh, to get it to snap to the grid. So you can do just free place, and then there's gravity align, and then if you press it again, there's a local grid. So it's gonna align it to this grid, and that is just purely so I can get the GPS markers lined up. All right, that's so we can uh, know where we where we are and where we're heading while we're underground. And before we go, let's go and get that unknown signal. Um, I do want to try the uh, automatic uh, cargo hauler thing again, but um, I think the issue I was having is the the ship didn't have enough thrust. I think if we can. If we can do it, um, like if we can redo it and design the ship that has more than enough thrust, like way too much thrust in all directions, then I think the autopilot will be um, a lot more reliable. I think that was the issue we were having. Alright, I think that is it. Yep, that's it. Alright, I did have a little bit of an accident. We weren't quite low enough. But everything else came out really good. Because um, I was hoping to use this as like a maintenance tunnel. So possibly when we get to here, actually the, the base of the tower might actually cover up that hole anyway. So we might be alright. Alright, so essentially I I want to use the ladders to go up to the, the top. So we're going to have to widen the tunnel itself. Um, let's get out of here. Oh shit, that's um that's something we haven't done that I should have done as soon as we got silver. Should have built a bloody medical bay. Um sure. Getting energy back from a medical room is amazing. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. And it might be nice to have a door uh, leading in as well. From this side, I think. Okay, um, let's go up here. And we want to come out here. And we're going to have a walkway. I know it's extremely difficult to see what I'm actually doing here because it's all in wireframe. But you just have to trust me. I I can see the design. <laughs> so there will most likely be um, a slope turned on the side there to sort of make this central shaft into a octagon and then we we'll have a door there D 
decent view. Not bad. Um, so that gives us an idea of how far out we need to come. Um, so we need to keep in mind about the corners as well. Because the distance to the corner is going to be longer than what it is to the side. And there's, um, there's a formula to work that out. I can't remember what it is. We would have to divide this into triangles. It'd be a right angle triangle and we'd be working out the hypotenuse. Which I think, um, I think it's C squared equals A squared plus B squared. And then we just find the square, square root of C squared. Which would be 2.8 blocks. So as long as we have three blocks. One, two, three. And then we can do our. I hope that's right. So essentially this is the uh, point right here where the solar panels will start. So they'll be taking up both of those squares there. And that way if... Uh, oh shit, we need rotors. God damn it. Uh, if that's the case, we could actually take this back in one block. Do we want to do that? Or do we want to, do we want to give ourselves an extra block just in case I messed up. Nah, fuck it. I'm, I'm confident. So we got two blocks and then it's going to be the rotor, which will give us our third block. probably get this welded up uh yeah that's that looks good it looks like it's gonna it's gonna miss it all right excellent um it might actually be nice to thicken this part up as well and if that's the case we're gonna have to raise it up Might actually weld this all up as well. Beautiful. Okay, so we want to raise this up, raise this up by one block, I think. And then we'll come out two blocks, and then we will have. Um, yeah, that'll allow us to... Do a nice little slope on these sections. Actually, I wonder if... We could place... the little slopes there over the top of this without interfering with the rotation let's try it out
Okay, can we get this finished? Yes, we can. What about you? Are you good? Yep. And this one. Perfect. All right, let's uh, let's build the other side. So we can always um we can always expand this later on if we if we want to add more rows to it. But for now, I think six on each side will be all right. Uh, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Very nice. All right. How does that, how does that feel? Yeah, that's, that's a decent amount of space. All right, cool. Solar panels. Let's get those going and then we can, um, put Izzy's script on and, um, we, uh, we might be all right for power then. Let's use a medical bay for the energy because it's way better, way better. All right, dump everything. And let's get rid of that and search for solar. So unfortunately, we can't use the good ones yet because they both require platinum. Why couldn't this one just require like superconductors, which is gold? And then this one, you go, yeah, sure, you need platinum for that one as well. Because as soon as I get platinum, there's no point in making these at all. I'm just going to be making the best ones I can. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't, doesn't make any sense in terms of progression. Um, all right, so how many of these can we fit on us? One, two, three, four. Fucking sucks. <laughs> uh, what if we take the tugger with us? All right, we're coming to the end of the solar cells. Do we have enough for one more? We do. Very good. Um, all right, so I've got everything else loaded into these ones here. It's just the solar cells they're missing. Um, and what I might actually do is place another row on each of them and get those filled up as well. So all, we're, all we'll be waiting on is the solar cells. Actually, I don't need that, do I? I don't think so. Um, I need those. Probably don't need all of those. That's all I've got. I'll only be able to place 19. 19? And the Aussies will understand that. Um, all right, so do we want another row directly above it or do we want to stagger it? Stagger it straight away. How much space do we have here? Like we've got fucking heaps and heaps of room. We can make some massive fucking arrays here. So let's just... Stack them up like this. Alright, cool. So we've got another row there ready to go. Um, all we've got to do... I, I still need a couple of uh, large steel tubes, but that's alright. Um, let's get rid of all of that shit and just take all of the steel plates. 
put those in there. And we'll take this thing back to base. Put Izzy's name there. So he gets credit for it. Um, yep, that looks good. Okay, so we want to browse scripts. Izzy's solar alignment and uh, solar rotors. Yep, we've got that. Okay, it's counting the solar panels that we haven't built yet and what we'll, that are incomplete, but that's all right. Um, now let's uh, let's make another LCD screen. All right, zero point five. It is. Um, all right, so batteries have uh, one point eight percent. That's pretty bad. Input is four point five megawatts. Okay, and we're currently. Oh, that's that's awesome. It has the. Uh, it has the output or the input of the uh, wind turbines as well. That's very cool. So we're making nothing off our solar array just yet. Is it uh, is it spinning around and checking? No. Not doing shit. I guess it's got nothing to check for, but it is nearly morning. So we should see this, these things kick into action. I actually want to rotate these things so they're already uh, facing vertical. So we need um, unlimited. All right, so they should be pointing up and down vertical. Yep. Perfect, they'll be ready for that sun as soon as it peaks over that mountain. Um, the reason why I wanted to do it manually to start off with is because I think um, the sun would have been shining on this side because it was laying flat. It would have shown sh been shining up on the bottom side and then it would have made them rotate around and this would have been the uh, the front side, and that would have bothered me for some reason. I don't know. I'm weird like that. I I want this side to be the the side that faces the sun. Not that it makes any fucking difference at all. It just I don't know. It it'll just make me feel better. All right, so that's our dodgy looking uh, solar tower for now. 